In this video, we look at how using a PIN code to log into a computer with Windows Hello for Business is safer than a complex password. Coming up, we'll review using a PIN to sign into Windows and the reason why a four or six digit numeric PIN is actually safer than using a long alphanumeric password. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, and Hybrid Identities courses on udemy.com. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. We're going to review how a PIN can be safer than a username and password. But first, let's review some authentication basics. I assume everyone knows what a username and password is. We have a directory service, Windows AD or Enter ID, that stores a list of usernames and typically a one-way hash of the user's password. When the user logs in, the username and password is compared to the directory, and if it matches, the user is allowed in. We've learned over the years that it's best to have a complex password using upper and lowercase alphanumeric characters with some special characters thrown into the mix. We also don't want the password to be easily guessable, so we don't use common words and we change it regularly. However, with Windows Hello for Business, we can use a four digit PIN to log into a computer. That seems to go against the logic that complex passwords are more secure. We'll come back to that point shortly. Before that, let's review some of the problems with complex passwords and passwords in general. First, the safest passwords are long, complex, and should be changed frequently. That makes them secure, but hard to remember. Users tend to write these complex passwords down and place it in a convenient spot, like next to their keyboard. That's a real problem if the computer is a laptop that gets stolen. Users also tend to use the same passwords in multiple places. Your environment may be secure, but if the user logs into a less secure website with the same credentials, those credentials could be susceptible to a data breach, sold on the dark web and used to compromise your system. Humans also like to use patterns. Even if we force users to change passwords frequently, a password that was winter 2023 is easy to guess in winter of 2024. And finally, social engineering such as phishing attacks and shoulder surfing are still a thing. Once someone gets the user's credentials, they can use them to log in from anywhere and any device in most cases. Okay, now that we've beaten up on password-based credentials, let's take a look at how we can solve some of these issues. First up is multi-factor authentication or MFA. MFA uses multiple signals to log in. Something we know like a password, something we have like hardware tokens, and something we are like fingerprints or facial scan. Using MFA, it's virtually impossible to log in with just a username and password. Two common MFA solutions with Windows and Azure are the Microsoft Authenticator app for smartphones or a hardware token like a YubiKey. That extra factor adds a lot of protection. Even if the username and password is compromised, a hacker needs that additional factor to successfully log in. Okay, with that in mind, let's review why a PIN used with Windows Hello for Business adds additional security over a username and password. We'll start with the Trusted Platform Module, or TPM. The TPM is a hardware-based crypto processor that carries out cryptographical operations. It's tamper-resistant and bound to the hardware. It can't be compromised by hardware or software attacks. For Windows Hello, it's used to create and store certificate key pairs bound to the TPM. When we use Windows Hello for business with online or enterprise accounts, Windows AD or Enter ID, Windows Hello authenticates the user by username and password. A temporary access pass is an option for added security with that initial login. Windows Hello creates a certificate or asymmetric key pair. The credentials are bound to the TPM on the device along with the token generated when using the credentials. When we log into Windows Hello, it requires two factors the certificate or key pair bound to the TPM, and the PIN or biometrics like facial recognition. That unlocks the certificate in the TPM and allows it to be used for authentication. The takeaway is this process is local to the hardware and the TPM on the device. This has several advantages over just a username and password. First, it's impossible for someone to use the PIN or spoof biometrics to log in from a different computer. They would need the PIN or biometrics and the device to log in. Pins are easy to remember and users are less likely to write them down, and they don't need to be changed as frequently. If the laptop is stolen, the thief could try to guess the pin, but that risk can be limited by enforcing account lockouts with a GPO or an Intune policy. 
We can also enforce minimum pin lengths and more complex pins, including special characters, for example. Keep in mind, if the pin is too complicated, users may write it down. A pin with Windows Hello provides more security than a username and password alone, and is just as secure as MFA because it is technically MFA. It requires something we have, a certificate on the device's TPM, something we know a pen, or if enabled, something we are, a facial scan, for example. This is a similar level of protection as a hardware token. One difference though is the TPM is bound to the hardware while the token can be moved between devices. That is how a pen can be more secure than a username and password. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.